going to explain SAS mode to you without being inside of the computer. I want to make sure you have a good visual of the framework of how high level works and why the programs are awesome. All of them are great, but why we chose to focus on SAS Pro and what made us change our mind and how you as a digital media marketing agency would want to use and utilize the SAS Pro. There is a 97 plan and a 297 plan. And then of course we've got the 497 SAS Pro. Remember, if you do want to upgrade your already high-level user and you do want to use our agency code, a referral affiliate code, we will give you that with some instructions. And when you do upgrade, we do help you walk through your entire setup to make sure that your SAS Pro is up and running the way you want it to run. Let's talk about high-level. All right, so I'm an agency, so we'll just do agency here, agency here, and then let's do agency here. This is your main agency profile. This is where you go in, you set all your settings, and you run your business from here. Underneath the agency, company information, settings, custom domain, all that good stuff, you then are able to create your sub accounts. On the 97, you get an agency plan and then you get a sub account. We're always going to recommend this be your account because in order to become really successful with this software, you really want your business to use it. And I'll tell you, it's changed my life. It's also made it easier for me to train my customers. I'm in there. I eat what I cook, right? <laughs> so eating what I cook is important. For 97, you get your agency, you get your sub account, and you get your account. For the 297, you get your agency, and then everybody loves this because you get unlimited. So we get unlimited here. This is usually where everybody goes because they pay a flat rate, and then you can add unlimited customers to that account. Here's what we found. We started as the 297 plan, and this was great. So with the 297 plan and with high level, all of high level software, you have to connect your SMS service, which is Twilio, and you have to connect some type of an email service, which they usually recommend Mailgun. In fact, most of the documents set up are Mailgun, but you can use things like SendGrid, SendInBlue, and other email services. Let's be very clear. These are email services for bulk sending. So if you're new to email marketing, you want to be able to send bulk email. That's more than 20 emails per hour. As your customers grow, as you begin to do more marketing, you do want the bulk sending capabilities. Think of this as most of you probably bought or have a MailChimp account. When I was living in Atlanta, I grew up on MailChimp. If you were in marketing, everybody used MailChimp. You could get the free version with their little monkey logo, or you could get the paid version and grow and have all your contacts and email them and all that good stuff. Think of this as our version of MailChimp, high levels version of MailChimp. Only with high level, you get way more than just email marketing, obviously. So with the agency plan, what happens is you get the sub account and you can either go in and set up your own. You'll have to set up your own Twilio account. You'll have to set up your own Mailgun account or whatever. So you set this up for your business and then you're either setting other people up underneath your Twilio account or your Mailgun or you're teaching your customers to go set up a Twilio account, go set up a Mailgun account. I would say around the first five to 10 customers that we had, we realized quickly that this was frustrating for them. Half of them, we would spend more time setting them up, walking them through how to set up their account. It's just very time consuming is what I would say. It's necessary. So whether you're an agency and you're having them set up their own account or you're an agency and you're setting it up, maybe you're bundling this into your offering. Maybe you're just saying, hey, this is my flat fee, $2.97 a month, and then you buy your own, which is what our most of our competitors are doing, giving them like 50 texts or whatever. So it, it all depends depends on your model, but either way, you have to set up these accounts because in order to use the contact management tool and collect data and be able to communicate with everybody, you need to be able to text and email using things like this called text back, web chat, all the awesome, super fab five features of high level. But what we found was those five to 10 customers were confused and we were spending a lot of time. So for me, time is money, bottom line. So when I saw the pro upgrade and at the time they were just introducing lead connector as the phone, 
I was in between and I was hanging on to these accounts. And just to give you an idea, I was paying about $40 for Mailgun for up to 50,000 emails. And I was paying Twilio my phone numbers plus usage. So when I looked at it and it was only a $200 difference and I could actually automate my entire sign up process where they sign up, they get in and this lead connector stuff is coming. I thought this is just a no brainer. So I'll keep these accounts while we move over to Lead Connector SMS. Now remember, we had, didn't have Lead Connector email. That just recently came out. So if you're watching this now, it's pretty much probably standard and gone through all of its bugs, but that's really where we were at. And I just thought, first of all, the time of $200 to move over to 497 to automate the sign-up process, click a button, they sign up, and then it does it all for me and it creates their account and all that good stuff. I was sold. So we upgraded to the SaaS plan. When we got the SaaS plan, then came Lead Connector SMS. And what happened was I was able to completely close out my Twilio account. So making them have to go into Twilio to go set up another account and connect their email. Now with Lead Connector, it's literally go to phone, pick your phone number and done. End of story. Okay, great. Now we also have Lead Connector email, which is go to Mail email settings, select lead connector email or connect a domain. Now keep in mind, we still had to connect domains over here and we're always gonna need to connect domains over here. So we always wanna make sure that we get with our customer and either have access to their domain. If you're GoDaddy Pro, they grant you access. Google, you can teach them how on Google domains, you can go in and manage it and all that good stuff. But most of my people are on GoDaddy or they're buying domains from us. So it's easy for us to go in and manage it. And the reason why you want access to that domain is so that way you can connect their account perfectly. So their account is all set up. So what happened is we started using SMS, which was awesome. They picked the phone number, so the onboarding was fast. Lead Connector, they picked it or we added their domain or they selected, if they have another account, they just added that, that was done. If they don't, what we love is we just set them up with their own domain, their own email, and guess what? It's done. So we started having super happy customers. Onboarding was super fast and easy. So just in this alone, and I love my artwork, but just in this alone, for $200 more, I'm able to get my customers on board, automatically create their account, click, they select their payment, they get in, it creates their account, they go in, on board, set their phone number, set their email, done. End of story. And email lead connector is done. We actually have our own domain for all of our customers as a bulk domain that we're really growing right now. So we get them in, or you can just use the lead connector email. And you don't even have to worry about all this stuff. Just go put some code on the domain and call it a day, which we cover that in tons of videos. So this alone is right here worth my time because time is money. So that 200, I was already sold. But let's go a little bit further into SaaS so you can see really why SaaS is awesome. So over here, you're either getting billed through Twilio, getting billed through Mailgun, and then rebilling your customers. So you have to go into each of these accounts, track the dollars, track the spends, either rebill them, whatever. It's just a mess. In SaaS Pro, you have what's called some really cool things. And I'm going to do cost and resell. I'm going to put a big old smiley face here because this made me happy. So on cost and resell, we have a cost for SMS, right? Twilio's cost at 0 .00 whatever. And then we have a resell. So we can resell this at two cents, six cents, nine cents. So guess what? In here is what we call profit, which every business owner loves is profit. Now we've got email. So email would cost like 0 .00 whatever. And then lead connector costs us, I don't know, I forget what it was, something per thousand. It's like crazy, like a penny or six cents per thousand or four cents, something like that per thousand emails. So when you're starting out, if you have accounts that don't have a lot of contacts and emails, this is a great place to start because forget the $40. Now you're starting out really low and you'll be able to work up. You still come out cheaper because high level is getting that bulk pricing for you, which is giving you better margins on your profit. So you're getting better costs and you're making profit. So now you've got SMS and email. Inside of every person's account, guess what makes the customers happy? They go to settings and they go to company billing. And guess what? They can see where they're at. 
they can purchase more credits depending on their campaign. You can offer $5 of credits in a month, $10, $25, whatever you want with your package. Give them that. And then if they want to do more or as they grow, we call it pay as you grow. So as the account gets more contacts and grows, then they just start to pay additional fees if they're sending more texts and emails. And they can easily manage that in company billing. I should have a picture for that. So you can see how easy that is. They can see what they did the previous month. They can see what they did last month. They can see what currently doing. They can see where all their charges are. And once they reach their threshold of the complimentary credits, then you can start billing them additional billing. So guess what? We love that. That's profit. So not only now am I saving time and money, but now whatever profit I'm making here goes to that additional 200 I just used to upgrade. So you can see how easy this is. You get for 497, get five customers, cover your costs. For 297, get two customers, cover your costs. Or if you're doing other services like we are in your agency, get $500 a month customer or $1,500, whatever it is, $5,000, you're covering your monthly costs. And that's what you want to do. You want to cover this cost. And then after that, everything is profitable. So now we're excited, right? Love SaaS Pro. Awesome. I've made it so easy for my customer to sign up. I've made it easy for us to make a little bit of profit margin to cover my costs. And the customers are happy. We're competitive pricing. They get it all in one spot. Let's go one more step further with SaaS. SaaS also has the ability to resell Yext and WordPress. WordPress, you have a cost associated. Let's just round it to 15. Yext, your cost is 30. You got a cost related here, but in Yext, let's say you sign up five accounts at $50, which is very competitive. A lot of people are doing it at $99, but let's just use it as 50. Let's just say we're going to say you buy my package. I'll add this on. What Yext is, it's great for physical brick and mortar locations, meaning a restaurant, boutique, a shop, or it is that business has a physical location. We recommend them using Yex because it allows them to list their business, which increases their local search SEO to be on the top local apps and apps. And what Yex allows them to do is just make one change once, it updates all the account, it's done. It's phenomenal. And of course, remember, they've got to at least agree to three months because you're stuck with that $30 for three months. Let's go back to this. So five customers at $50 is, let's say, is that's $20. That's $100 profit, which guess what? That profit goes to pay back my 200. So it's just five customers at $50. Now I'm only short another 100 to cover my 497 cost. So let's just up that to 10 customers. Guess what? The difference of 50 and 30 is 20, 10 times 20 is what? $200. Now your cost is covered. So you have 10 people paying X. You're making a profit on that. And now all your costs are covered. Now, High Level has tons more coming. Can't wait to see what they offer because we know that whatever they offer, we're going to love it. The upcoming is going to be AI. So we're going to have a price associated with that as a cost. And we're going to have an upsell. I believe we've got premium workflows coming. Google's like the Zapier replacement. So we're going to have a cost related to that. And we're going to be able to upsell that. Still cheaper than Zapier and all of our other competitors. So look at the upsell cost and resell opportunity to make even more profit for your one time a month $497 fee. So this is what made us switch. One, saving time saving to money, making it quick, taking frustrated customers, making them happy. And then of course, making us even more happy by being able to build in more profit to cover the cost. So starting a business at $497 a month, that's it to start a business. It's a no-brainer. As you begin to grow, you can use things like HL Pro tools. You can have built-in customer support. You can do things like add up hex for Facebook ads. We use marketing marketers toolkit to actually customize our software. So yes, this cost has definitely gone up for me running a business, but all my profit is covering my costs each month. And so we're able to continue to do what? Grow and build in more profit, more volume, more profit allows us to put more money. So to start a business at 497 and then eventually add those components to your business that is the best way to start your SaaS Pro plan. And once again, we love it. We customize our software. We customize our services. We have our own system that we sell within our business. And it's just such a great way to start. If I'm going to recommend anything, I'm going to recommend starting with the SaaS Pro automatically because time is money and profit is king. Thanks for watching.